Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and in today's Pick a Card reading, we're going to talk about becoming your greatest you, becoming the greatest version of yourself, self-mastery, self-actualization, you know what I'm saying? So um, let's begin. We have pile number one, the king of cups, pile number two, the king of swords, pile number three, the king of wands, and pile number four, the king of pentacles. Now, the reason why I chose the kings out of the suit is because in tarot, the kings represent the highest form of wisdom that you can attain in any given suit, right? So, um, yeah, I thought it was fitting. And also, these are messages from spirit. These are messages from your higher self. Almost like once you've attained that, um, that, you know, self mastery and whatever it is that you're doing, that greatest, that's that greatest you in whatever area it is that you're doing at a particular time, because we're human beings, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So we're always growing, we're always evolving. So, you know, one's job with self mastery is truly never really done, but we can get very, very, very close. That's actually our, our job, our duty as humans to be, to get very, very, very close to, you know, expanding as, as much as possible. Okay. So again, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. And I love you all so very much. And I'll see you in your readings. Bye-bye. Okay. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful king of cups cards sorry you all chose this beautiful king of cup cups card excuse me you all could be water signs that's why you probably gravitated towards the king of cups um pisces cancer scorpio energy okay and for the affirmation that i pulled for you all i chose i well i didn't choose but you know what came out of the deck was i am healthy card number eight and it says, I only provide my body, mind, and spirit with the best sustenance I can give it, allowing it to move when it needs, and also allowing the trifecta to rest when it calls to. I am healthy. So off bat is what I'm getting is that health is going to be a, a, a huge focal point when it comes to becoming your best self. And in regard to that, I'm thinking like, I think once you stop doing a certain activity, whether it was like, uh, maybe you smoked, maybe you drank a lot, or maybe like you just did things, not like overtly, but just like you did them often, right? Maybe more often than felt good to your body. And once you stop doing that or stopped doing that, or as frequently as you did it, like things started to kind of like shift within you. Okay. Or things are going to start shifting within you. Okay. As well as like, um, eating the proper foods, uh, incorporating more leafy greens and, um, just, um, life into your diet as in the realms of plant life and, and, and things of that nature, right? Taking your vitamins, getting the adequate vitamins and nutrients and minerals that you need to, you know, have a, a healthy inside. And once you're healthy inside, automatically you're going to be healthy outside it you know i hear that our body cells turn over like every 30 to maybe 60 days don't quote me on that but definitely do your own research but like you could have brand new cells in like 60 to like i mean 30 to 60 days you guys check on that but um yeah you could definitely have like brand new cells in like a month or two flat so like you do that by you know changing it up not eating processed food or junk you know often or you know if you can at all but you know we're humans and we like what we like so you know uh, taking a lot of those processed items out of our 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 diet more often than we don't okay so i'm getting that a lot too as well as you all had an extra card i usually pull 10 of uh, the rider weight cards but the star came out so i also feel like in order to embody your greatest self is like express yourself truly and fully because it's something that you've healed within yourself or you're in a deep state of like healing and like 
it's almost like I'm getting like you're meant to be a star, like you're meant to be on center stage. And it's funny because like we don't have the six of wands here, but we but we have the star card. And it's like you, you're destined for greatness, pile number one. OK, you are like this star card wanted to come out and it was the extra card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of swords. And I'm feeling like you're finally understanding all this and now you're moving on to calmer waters because your your higher self right your higher self this person that's leading this boat to refuge is helping you you know god spirit source energy you know whatever you want to call that um that that you know guidance is helping you and cultivating this this very healthy routine or balance into your life okay so let's begin your reading we have the ten of cups we have the nine of cups we have the five of pentacles we have the lovers and we have the page of cups we have the magician we have judgment we have death we have uh the ten of swords and then we have the three of cups this is an awesome reading so immediately what i'm getting as how you're becoming your highest self the greatest version of yourself right or the greatest you right now is you're ending this lack mentality once and for all like there's this rebirth coming into your life and you are leaving behind lack mentality um victimhood you know feeling like oh i'm always like like poverty mindset or i'm always left out in the cold or i don't have enough or you know limited um limited this limited mentality okay or these these limited resources this is being left behind pile number ones okay and there's like a renewal within you there's like this 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 beckoning of of, of like a, a newness into your life okay because this is the center of the reading so like you're leaving this just this yeah this victimhood or this this kind of lack mentality lack mindset this 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 um feeling like you know you're in despair you're left on the cold because you've actually started to seek refuge because as you can tell like it's snowing right in this imagery but they're right outside of a church if these people wanted to if they really wanted refuge or at least wanted to try they could go into that church okay and like try to get some food or some shelter or some type of comfort but they're kind of just like fending for themselves right now because they're in such this like mental state that you know no one is going to help me because you know this always happens and no one ever wants to help me and yada 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 but i'm getting pile number ones in order to become the best version of yourself your greatest self your higher self is suggesting leaving this behind right leaving this all in the dust in the past okay we also have one two three four major arcanas in your reading we have the magician judgment card death and the lovers and it's like you've you're clearly making a decision to end that cycle this cycle okay you're definitely clearly making a decision to end this cycle okay and you're using your intu your intuition your your intuitive prowess to to you know really integrate that trifecta right like we were talking about in the uh affirmation i am healthy i only provide my body mind and spirit and sometimes the three of cups reminds me of that it's like body mind and spirit because there's three women but like in in some tarot decks they're like a young it's like three generations or something like that so i always get like like your your spiritual team your angels ancestors and guides or like your body mind and spirit like something that's within you also when i get the three of cups and i really feel like uh you're using the trifecta you're integrating the trifecta is what i'm saying here right because that's what it said in this um affirmation card allowing it to move when it needs and also allowing the trifecta to rest when it's called to you know so health is wealth okay and i feel like you are really focusing in on that as of lately and 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 for in um time to come right so we have this ten of cups and this magician like it's like literally happiness is an inside job as above so below as within so without and that's what this magician tells us we have every tool in our arsenal to have the most the best life 
uh, embody the best versions of ourselves that we can. We just have to choose to, right? And it's interesting because we have card number 10 and then we have card number one. And it's like they both add up to one. One plus zero equals one and one, okay? You guys could be seeing 1111 or 111 a lot. And it's suggesting that, you know, your thoughts are manifesting at a rapid pace. So be very aware of like, your thoughts and be very conscientious of your thoughts and what you're thinking okay it's also interesting right we have ten of cups and the ten of swords ten ten and then we have the judgment card this is another ten ten you know what i'm saying when it comes to the roman numerals here so you all are having divine downloads it's like you all could be um gifted with a uh, clear cognizance or clairvoyance like clear seeing clear thinking like you know things i'm getting like aquarius energy too which is interesting because we have the star card like you have these deep profound sense of knowing when it comes to your life and your path and what it is that you need to do okay so but yeah like i'm saying like it it's going to take um, you're a master, manif master manifester, so you can manifest anything that you want in your life, okay? And I'm also getting with this Ten of Cups is that the the person, one person's wearing red, one person's wearing blue. What does that remind you of? It reminds you of the magician and then for anyone else who's privy to tarot, the high priestess, the masculine and feminine. So you have integrated or and you are a perfect integration of masculine energy and feminine energy and that's why you're so great at manifesting things okay you could really help people to manifest becoming best versions of themselves yourself okay you could be in the field of like self-help or self-development personal development okay is what i'm getting also but yeah like i said we have okay now we have the nine of cups you guys could be water sign strong in this reading okay but we have the nine of cups and the judgment card there's like this awakening to your powers of manifestation like in this center there is an awakening to your powers of manifestation okay your guides are helping you non-stop like clearly okay and um they're saying it's time for you to shine. It's time for your wishes to come true. We have two wish cards in this um, reading, okay? We have the Nine of Cups and the Star card. Make a wish because it's destined to come true. It's going to happen, okay, pile number ones? So, um, but yeah, you're feeling like this call, like you're you're answering the call to uh, from spirit, from source, from your higher self, to continue to cultivate and continue to feel gratitude and contentment for your life now. And that's calling in <clears throat> the best versions of yourself is through gratitude and, and happiness and contentment. Okay. And it's interesting because this magician looks like it's pointing to this judgment call. call. This magician <laughs> It uh, looks like it's pointing to this judgment card here. And it's interesting because it's like answer the call. Like you, you've been called to do something. Now it's your time to do it. It's your time to shine. Okay. And that's what I'm getting. So like I was saying, we have the lovers and the 10 of swords here. You're definitely, you've made a decision to leave something or someone behind. I'm getting it's, it's a way of being it's lack, it's limitations. It's, it's, um, the infrequency of abundance like you're coming into a higher vibration you're moving into a higher vibration and a higher state of being pile number ones period and that's what's helping you embody the best version of yourself and becoming the greatest you that you can be okay a lot of you all might you yeah you you all are like definitely water signs or have heavy water sign placements in your um reading because scorpio's here okay we have cup cards we have the page of cups and i feel like you all are very intuitive like i was saying you all are very like endowed with like uh psychic capabilities and they could be like just beckoning out and you're oh we have the three of cups too like come on like y'all are definitely water signs so or you're either water signs or you're um like i said heavy water placement in your chart and uh so yeah like you all are definitely being called to like um cultivate this 
extra sense, like this sixth sense, okay? And I'm also getting the crown chakra because this, uh, look, the page of cups and the nine of cups are wearing hats. And it's like they're protecting their crown. They're protecting their crown chakra, okay? And it's interesting because this page of cups even has like a zero or something, like some type of like thing on their their hat okay i don't know if that's a zero or what it is but um yeah this is like the same type of hat like i'm saying integration of the masculine and the feminine too he's wearing they're wearing a red hat they're wearing a, a blue hat okay you all are master manifestors and you're highly integrated right now or you're integrating like you're in the process of integrating everything that you've learned or been cultivating over a certain period of time okay so let's pull more cards thank you god thank you spirit tell me more about pile number ones what does their higher self want to tell them about becoming the greatest version of themselves thank you tell me more spirit for pile number one what does pile number one's higher self want to tell them about becoming the greatest version of themselves thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we have four cards here. So I said integration, spiritual union with the masculine and the feminine principle, okay? This is basically the two of cups in this deck. You guys could be meeting someone, but I'm feeling like you're in spiritual union with yourself, your masculine nature and your feminine na nature, okay? You can't freaking make this up, y'all. Okay, four of cups, so many cup cards. This is the equivalent of the four of cups in this um, deck. We have rest and rejuvenation, okay? We have material and spiritual prosperity, like I said, okay? We have positive movement forward, okay? Eight of, uh, I think this is the six of pentacles, this is the eight of pentacles, and we have triumph. You... Uh, pile number ones congrats congrats you've done the work you've you've meditated you've you've taken time to cultivate this oneness within yourselves okay we have six seven eight we literally have six seven six seven eight there's a steady progression we're on only thing we're missing is a five four six seven eight and it's like you jumped that uh, it's like you quantum jumped you know wow and it's funny because i'm just putting these for right now but what i'm thinking is it's material spiritual prosperity positive movement forward and then triumph like that's just ultimately what i'm getting this is a beautiful spread beautiful spread congratulations pile number ones you this is how this is you becoming the best version of you this is you becoming your greatest uh self okay you take time out, you meditate, you commune with source, you commune with spirit on a daily basis is what I'm getting often, very often. And you're being endowed with material and spiritual prosperity because you have integrated what you've needed to integrate, okay? Positive movement forward, they're going towards the sun, okay? And it's you're ending in a blaze of glory and triumph, okay? it's like there's nothing more to say like you you're doing it okay i feel like you're in the process of doing this as we speak okay thank you god thank you spirit tell me more tell me more about pile number ones what does pile number one's highest self want them to know about uh being the greatest version of themselves spirit. what does pile number one want to know answer the call like i said i kept saying that what is your soul calling you to do tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number one in regards to being the best version of themselves L lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening like i said like you're in the process of doing this you're in the process of, of creating your heaven on earth like whatever it is that how you see fit to live and how you want to live okay we have priestess how are you being called to step up and lead we have answer the call how are you being called to step up and lead obviously your higher self source spirit is 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 really signaling to you that you are here to you know really embody the best version of yourself in this lifetime not in the next lifetime or anything in this lifetime and you're well on your way to doing that okay you're you're creating you're manifesting you're you're conjuring up things okay 
So let's pull some more cards for you. A lot of you all could be pillars in your community too, is what I'm getting, or working up towards that. Like you're, you're, um, People, a lot of people come to you um, when they need help or assistance or guidance is what I'm getting. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile. Wow, that flew up. Okay, so arrow focus. Like, you have this aim. You have this objective. You have this focus. I'm getting swords energy here. Like, you're very quick. You're very sharp. You're very wise. And you're... you're headed straight towards your goals okay is what i'm getting thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages from pile number one's higher self in regards to becoming the greatest version of themselves oracle wisdom yeah you're endowed with a lot of wisdom you all could be spiritual facilitators spiritual advisors spiritual teachers okay but like i was saying people come to you when they need spiritual assistance when they need to know you know how their spirituality works or you know what exactly how do they hone in on their spirituality okay you're like a spiritual leader tell me more spirit clear concise after your messages for our pile number ones in regards to their higher self hydromancy illusions okay so look we have at the bottom of the deck smoke prayers i feel like something that you've been asking for is coming into fruition right but it's also you have to be like it's funny uh, uh you guys should watch i think my last reading or the reading before last because this kind of came up something that you're wishing for is coming into being right oh my god excuse me something that you're wishing for is coming into being but you all have to be very cautious i feel like the spotlight is going to be on you. All eyes are going to be on you. Like, look at those lights. And I know they're twinkle of the stars, but they look like spotlight. Like, someone's on a stage and stuff like that. So, you're going to have to be very uh, cautious of your words and stuff and not to give in to the illusion. Almost like, don't give in to your own hype. And I don't feel like you all are those people, those type of people anyways, right? I don't feel like you all would give in to your own light hype. But depending on how far you go into something and how far you take something, you may be like on center stage, like literally, like you may be a person who wants to be a public speaker and do a TED talk and you go to like, let's say like, what's like one of the biggest arenas, like a Tony Robbins or something. And you know, all these people are here to see you. Don't, it's like, don't believe your own hype. Like you're just there as a channeler for from God, from source, from spirit, like God is using you as a tool, okay, to facilitate uh, your higher selves or God's messages so that people can, can heal and can learn, okay, but that's all that that means, right? That's all that that means. There, it's you're not above anyone. You're not below anyone. Everyone is at a even playing field when it comes to them being spiritual beings here on this earth, having human experiences. And I feel like the cautionary tale is like, don't give into the illusions of like what comes into that, okay? Because people might want to whisk you away or be like, oh, you're you're the next carnation of whatever. No, you're not. I'm. You got to be like, I am me. And I am just a spiritual being having a human experience just like yourself. Like, we are not different, okay? I'm just allowing sore spirit uh, to utilize me in the ways that sore spirit sees fit in order to enhance the consciousness of humanity because this is what's needed at this time. That's it. And that's what I'm really getting. Like, don't give in, to, don't give in to your own hype. I'm getting like, oh my God, I'm getting that, that song by Lupe Fiasco back in the day. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. Like, listen to that song. That's going to be you guys' channel message. It's, it's deep. It's super deep. So, um, he says a line like, I want to believe my own hype, but it's too untrue. Like, that's what's cautioning this illusion like don't give into the illusion of 
everything that you're becoming because you are becoming that, but you're becoming that because God source spirit has like, is knowing that you are a willing participant to carry out their message and you can carry out their message. So just do that. Always ground yourself, ground yourself with family, friends, you know, uh, people who have your best interests at heart. Okay. Tell me more spirit. Tell me more about pile number one's highest self and what their highest self wants them to know about becoming the best version of themselves. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. One more card. What does pile number one's highest self want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves? What does pile number one's highest self want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves? Thank you. Yeah. We have change at the bottom of the deck. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And you're changing. You're evolving. You're moving forward. Okay? That's beautiful. Okay? We have grief. In reverse, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I feel like you've lost, and not like anyone has, you know, transitioned on to the next life or anything like that, but I feel like you all have lost, don't speak with a lot of people who used to be very near and dear to you, okay? And I feel like you've had to, like, we have envy. I am the same as everybody, with, but with different challenges, exactly. Because of this plan platform that you guys are coming into you all could be cultivating like some type of like energy that is not of its highest nature from people who you don't speak to anymore and I feel like you understand why because look this is what you're overcoming guilt I release any beliefs that no longer assist with my soul's growth and it's like Sometimes you feel guilty about that because it's like, ah, you wanted this person there. You wanted these people there, but it's almost like they couldn't get out of the illusion of who you were becoming or what was going on. It's like it created an illusion within them. It's like that Kevin Hart, that new Kevin Hart move. It's like a series on Netflix, True Story. You guys should go check that out. It was really good. But like his brother was like something else and like... It was just, go watch it. I'm not going to do a spoiler alert here, but um, go watch it. It's really good. Like, it'll have you on the edge of your seat the whole the whole time. But I digress. But, like, just you stay grounded and continue to cultivate the relationships of people who also ground you is what I'm getting, okay? I want to, give me one second. I want to... Sorry, I want to pull some Moonology cards. I was getting that. Okay. I haven't used these in a while. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our call number one in regards to becoming the best version of themselves. What does their higher self want them to know in regards to becoming the best version of themselves? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Clear, concise, accurate messages that our higher selves want them to know. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. One more card, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages about the best version of themselves. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it. We have bottom at the bottom of the deck. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Yeah. Y'all are going to be taking center stage. Y'all about to show the world who you are and what you're made of. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Whew. Luck is on your side, okay? New moon in Sagittarius, a personal issue reaches resolution. So there's obviously beauty, blessings being bestowed upon you. And with this luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius, I have a feeling that 2022 is going to bring in a lot of abundance, prosperity, and blessings into, your, into uh, you all's lives. And I feel like whatever you've been feeling conflicted about or the people in your life, you all are probably going to reach like a personal resolution and come into like solidarity. And because these emotions were running high, I have a feeling like maybe something's going to like be brought to the head and you all are going to be able to talk and discuss and it's going to mend things. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, to mend relationships and 
in soon okay so yeah let's let's pull uh a couple angel cards to end off your reading thank you god thank you spirit last messages for our pile number ones in regards to what their higher selves want them to know last messages about what their higher selves want them to know about becoming the best versions of themselves we have three cards beautiful yeah healing okay i the angel of healing am with you right now i feel my presence and my unwavering love for you i have loved you before the dawn of time and i will love you for all of eternity i feel like you guys feel that you have healed a lot and you really want to bestow healing to others right now as well like that's one of your callings is to bestow and to help others heal okay positive outcome the sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light something that previously seemed hopeless will be filled with nothing but hope beautiful wow positive thinking look positive thinking positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life a positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness don't worry think love yeah you are very positive people and i feel like you've had to cultivate that like you've cultivated this positivity for a, a long time you know and and in essence like it's a part of who you are right because we have the ten of cups the nine of cups the magician you know what i'm saying so it's a part of who you are but you've also had to really work at it, okay archangel uriel a great spiritual transformation is occurring both in your life and in the world this is the union of heaven and earth spirit and matter heart and mind unite in harmonious balance okay beautiful reading pile number ones i'm so proud of you you're literally in the midst of becoming the best versions of yourselves um and it only compounds right you only keep getting better and better and better and better you only keep expanding and expanding and expanding it's never over okay so with that being said i love you all so very much if you uh really like this message or got anything out of this message please give me a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today i love you all so very much and until next time i'll see you in your next reading bye Hey, pile number twos, welcome back. You all chose this beautiful King of Swords card here. Okay, very, what I'm getting off bat for your higher self's message to you on becoming the best version, version of yourself is being decisive, okay? That's like a clear indication using your logic, using your objectivity, right? Um, using clear thinking and being very focused in on what it is that you want to achieve okay and be, being just very clear with people and not mincing your words is what i'm getting okay not like having to feel like you have to like overly explain yourself anything like that like you're being very clear concise and to the point with people nowadays okay and uh that's really gonna help you to embody the best version of yourself so it's interesting too pile number it's interesting as well pile number two because in your reading you actually got a few more cards that's why it kind of looks a little crooked here um because there's so many cards on the table that came out and um so your extra card was the lovers okay like i'm saying like you go like well your higher self wants you to know that you are becoming very decisive on what it is that you want because your angels are really making it clear for you now your angels ancestors and guides are making it extremely clear making things uh uh very accurate for you and so it's kind of been easier to be more decisive and and things of that nature okay and here you trust yourself more the seven of swords in reverse came out and i felt like you know maybe before or in prior circumstances there maybe could have been like you always had to watch your watch your back or um you know you felt like there was a lot of deceit or mistrust that uh was going on in or around you right because this is a swords card so there is about thoughts of that but i really am getting now that you, you you don't lie to yourself anymore you're very trusting of yourself because you don't have to lie to yourself you're being more forthright and honest with the things that you actually want and what you want to pursue and 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 things of that nature and, and i'm getting like 
you don't lie to yourself anymore is about those particular things like what you want what you want to do how you want to be perceived in this lifetime and and how you want your higher self to to show up in this external reality right and that's really what i'm getting here so your or your um affirmation card excuse me is card number 33 i am magic okay so 33 is a master number and it's the ascendant masters right it's like your angels ancestors and guides are literally guiding you they're with you every step of the way and like you are integrating with them okay so it says i am magic my very essence is magical and i witness and practice that magic through my highest self expression because that is what i've been placed on this earth to do i i'm getting magician vibes i'm shocked the magician didn't come in and if you all were feeling you know inclined to pile number one two go check that out but you all are like transforming. You all are like creating magic here and you're making magic happen. And you are very endowed with like this mysticism that's within you. And um, it, it's, it's really beautiful, okay? And I feel like that's how you're gonna be, that's how you're gonna start to embody the best version of yourself is through honing and, and understanding your magic, your own magic, okay? Your own capacity to uh, pursue anything that you want out of life and to make anything that you want happen and tangible, okay? So let's begin with your reading. So we have the Hermit card, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Hierophant, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, and we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Wands in reverse, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, and then we have the Five of Wands in reverse with the Page of Wands uh, in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Now, with this Page of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck, I felt like uh, there's something that you're not seeing, maybe a message that's coming in for you. Uh, could be from a young fire sign, Aries. Sagittarius or Leo does not have to be, you know, if it applies, great. If it doesn't, great. But also is maybe you have been indecisive in the past about going for what it is that you want to pursue, right? With the Page of Wands here, it's like a new energy. It's like this, this newness. It's like potential, right? At its lowest degree. So we have to water our soil. We have to really like um, fight in a in a sense right we have to really strive for what it is that we want and put effort into it and with the page of wands it's like you've been giving given the seed right to to compound on to grow to water to nurture and i think with this page of wands being in the past it's kind of uh, in the reverse excuse me with this page of wands being in the re reverse it's kind of saying like you know you are coming out of this doubting whether or not you should do it. You're just going for it, right? Especially with the lovers upright and the page of wands in reverse, like you have been doubting making a decision about what you should do, who you should be, who you are, okay? Okay, so like I was saying about that, and it's interesting in this reading we have the hermit card. I'm getting higher self energy, okay? This, you all could be like a Virgo. You don't have to be, but um, obviously not all of you are going to be Virgo. Or you could be, you could have Virgo highly aspected in your chart. But what I'm getting here is it's like this mirrored effect, okay? This hermit card, this ghost, so to speak, the spirit is like on top of a mountaintop. And it's almost like they're looking down on this person just waiting, just waiting for their ships to come in. Uh, expanding okay wanting to travel wait you know this is to me the three of wands is like also a merchant and it's funny that I said oh it's it's interesting that we don't have the magician card here but I always like saw the magician the three of wands as the back of the magician after it's been through a lot like the magician is just like they're in the stages of working their magic right they're in the stage of conjuring some stuff up but like the three of wands is like Okay, I've been on this journey for a minute and I'm like, you know, my my my, uh, my freaking robe is a little tattered. I had to like make patches over my robe just to, you know, have it stick together and stuff. Like I've been on this journey for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like help help me out. Help me help myself, you know? So 
I'm getting this hermit card is basically just looking looking down at this three of wands just seeing this person just you know patiently waiting but what i'm getting is this hermit is also like shining the light with their with their star in their lantern like my dear the wait is over okay you're about to get everything that you wanted and more you're about to be who you've always uh thought of yourself of being okay and that's really what i'm getting with these two cards here okay so now we have, like I said, we have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. It's like, you have had to do things on your own. And, you know, even at times, I don't think you even required help or really wanted to ask for help. But maybe now is the time, like... Take your pride aside and maybe ask for a little bit more help. That could be, even if you don't ask people for help, ask your spirit team, ask your, ask your angels, ancestors, and guides, ask God for help and uh, God, spirit, source energy will help you. Your higher self will help you. But I have a feeling like you've been going at something alone for a minute and it's because like maybe you just have felt left out in the cold. Maybe other people have left you to fend for yourself. And it's interesting because, um... You know, yeah, it's like the people who you used to be a team with, they dipped. Like, they're out of here. Like, they they just was like, I will weather this storm by myself. And then you're like, cool, cool, okay, great. I'm, I'm still working. I'm still here in the lab, pin in a pad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still working here, and I'm not going to stop for anybody, you know? Sorry, y'all. I'm about to light this incense. But yeah, I'm still working here. I'm not going to stop for anyone. And it's like, you know, maybe the people who you used to be a team with. Yeah, but it's like the people who you used to be in con collaboration with or a team with, they just kind of went out on their own. You know, they wanted to venture on their own. Okay, and you guys kind of like separated. You did your own thing. They did their own thing. Okay, and then so here with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups is like, it's so interesting because we have one person, one person, three people, two people, and then three people again. So like, it's almost like the same people who left you are about to be like, <laughs> that's crazy. The same people who left you are about to be like, I don't even want this to sound weird, but about to be like kneeling at your feet, like asking you for spiritual guidance or advice or the same people who doubted you, the same people who left you, you know, and was like, oh, well, I'll bear this coat. They, they needed you. They had to come back in and, and humble themselves or something like that, okay? And it was, it's nothing but love here with you. You don't mind. You, you don't care. It's like this nothing but love here with you. But this is a story that I'm getting, pile number twos. I'm sorry, but it is. And, you know, I am not that type of person. I'm not trying to be all rah, rah, or, or whatever. But this is what the cards are saying here, okay? The same people who, like, left you to fend for yourself, who didn't want to help you, who didn't, you know, who wasn't, What's that saying that Drake says? It's interesting because he it was a reference to Kobe Bryant, you know, rest his soul. But it was like, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. You wasn't with me doing all this hard work. But now you want to come back and ask and do all this. And it's interesting because the Ace of Cups is here. And it's like, you're such a loving, caring person. You're like, here, here. I want to give you all the love. I want to give you everything that you that you need to um, fill your cup up, okay? Like, period. All right, so then we have the Two of Swords in reverse here and then the Nine of, uh, the nine of Swords. And it's like, you finally, like, exited. You made your decision. You made up your mind. You've taken out the blinders and the blindfolds and something like this. But it's like something that's still here. And I'm not, this isn't your energy. I'm not getting, this is your energy at all. I'm getting someone is waking up at night in cold sweats thinking about this, thinking about like some type of mistake that they made or they feel as if they made a mistake, okay? I don't know who this is. This has been coming in through a lot of readings. So you guys should, if you want, like it's the holidays. I know a lot of people are like off work and stuff like that, but like have a little marathon on these pick of cards because they're telling a story, okay? 
And um, someone's just done fighting. Someone's done fighting, being conflicted about things like that. Like, you know, someone's done like, you know, yeah, fighting about something. This could be this person in question who was just kind of like, wow, like, I can't believe I did that or I really shouldn't have have chose these people over this person or I really shouldn't have left this person by themselves to do this because I could be right there with them, you know? But that's really kind of what I'm getting. But let's pull some more cards, okay? But in regards to what your higher self is telling you about being the best version of yourself, you're this higher fan. Pop number two, you're, you're who people come to to seek spiritual guidance or wisdom from, okay? And you, and, and you fill their cup up with love. You give them hope, you know? You give them hope. You give them the keys to their own understanding, to unlock their own understanding, okay? You give them the keys through God, through source, sources, source, spirit, God uses you as a conduit to channel their higher selves message, okay? Their higher selves uh, use you as a spiritual faculty to channel what it is that they need to know for themselves, okay? You see this yellow cup, you see this yellow suspenders that they're wearing, you see the yellow scepter and the yellow crown and the yellow keys, like those are all in con collaboration with one another, okay? Everything is already within you, you know? The uh, your crown chakra is already within you. You know, the power that you need, the tears of power, that's within you. The keys, that's within you. The love, that's within you. Okay, so this is basically what you're telling people, pile number twos, and you're expressing that to them. And um, in some ways, I think, like, you're like the spiritual teacher. Like, and I think it's, you have melded the convention with the non-convention right because you want to impact as many people's lives as you possibly can so you know it's almost ha like you have to sweeten something up in order to you have to spoon feed people like you have to sweeten something up in order for it to go down smoothly in order for them to be able to digest it and i'm thinking like just in like ways of like maybe you're doing courses you know maybe you're offering them things that oh, okay like i've taken a class before so maybe i could take this class and it'll help me along with that right and that's what i'm saying like in the realm of convention that's how you're mixing the unconventional with the conventional okay and your highest and that's how you're showing up you know as your highest self because you trust yourself because you've cultivated this trust this wisdom this knowledge you know thank you god thank you spirit tell me more for our pile number twos in regards to becoming the highest version of themselves what does their spirit team want them to know what does their highest self want them to know about becoming the uh, greatest them spirit okay we have material harvest period we have suffering and silence tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages from uh pile number two's highest self in regards to becoming their best self what does pile number two's highest self want them to know okay cool we have four cards look i'm telling you some we have trapped in fear at the bottom of the deck in reverse which is great you're you've either unleashed yourself from this fear or pessimism or someone else has and we have suffering and silence these keep coming up in different readings okay so we have firm foundation and movement choices and decisions. So firm found foundation just came out, okay? You're building, you're cultivating something and movement choices and decisions. And I believe this is the two of pentacles. So there's balancing, there's like this balancing act here that's going on as you're creating this firm foundation because this is the four of pentacles. So you're holding on to your abundance prosperity and there's a material harvest abundance prosperity to come pile number twos and it's like do not give up you're almost there suffering and silence came out too and this is like the nine of wands it's like you can see the mountains like you're almost there and it's like you know you're yeah you're just you're almost there do not give up the fight but we have nine of pentacles we have the uh, four of pentacles and we have the two of pentacles so like all this is about to be yours just keep going you're almost there 
okay you have nothing to worry about you're you're releasing yourself from this uh self-imposed limitations or these fears or these you know anxieties you're releasing yourself from that pile number um two okay and abundance is yours it's coming in thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number two what does their higher self want them to know in regards to becoming the greatest version of themselves what is their higher self you know, power number two to know in regards to creating the best version of themselves unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives um again three figures in this card okay and then we have break the chain ancestral patterns healing right in the future you're coming out of this cave it's funny because it's almost like they're in a cave which they're not it's like look two people here are like wow i just noticed this in this card one of these people are soaring towards the moon right and this is reminding me of this leap card in in this deck and it's like they're soaring towards the moon they're they're taking flight and these other People are kind of still trapped, but this person has released themselves. Wow, I just noticed this about this card. Wow. Okay. So you all could have had like a friend group or people in your lives and, you know, you try to help release them or help them release themselves from some type of conflicting belief or something like that and they just couldn't right now maybe it wasn't their time and you just said i gotta keep going and you just released yourself and started to soar you know okay we have break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future exactly it's like you're coming out of the cave okay you're coming out of this cave out of this like solitude and you're about you're breaking free you're breaking free Tell me more, Spirit. One more card for our pile number twos. Thank you. Take a break. Whew. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, okay? I feel, I, I feel like you've been working very, very, very hard, pile number two. You've been working very hard, and it's okay to relax sometimes. It's, it's okay, okay? It's okay to indulge in the beauty of life, too. A life's work not a season get off the treadmill yet enjoy your life it's okay to you know work hard play hard i'm getting that have that healthy balance okay let's see what else what else thank you god thank you spirit tell me more spirit about pile number two's uh what does pile number two's spirit guide or higher self want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves but I, you've broken free you've broken free you are this person soaring towards the moon okay you've escaped is what i'm getting pile number twos okay yeah fortune cookie fortuitous there's beauty coming in there's abundance there's luck blessings you know coming in okay I might read that card for you all just to get more clarity. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Ugh. Do I need it? Look, coins, abundance. Like I said, your fortune is looking bright, okay? You have prosperity, wealth, abundance coming in for you, pile number twos. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more about what pile number two's higher selves want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves. Lots chance. Yeah, you have the opportunity to take a chance on yourself, and you did. You did okay crystals healing again you could be a healer spiritual healer a spiritual counselor something that helps uh, that helps people that helps your community that helps society and you could also offer like uh, energy healing energy work or you could use crystals in your your healing practices as well but yeah you took a chance on yourself you took a chance on yourself pile number twos and it's paying off it's paying off, period. Your fortune, your fortuitous, your fortune is looking bright. I just, I still want to kind of read this fortune card. Something has been hidden from you. 
Something that has been hidden from you is now ready to be revealed and it's rather wonderful. Good fortune is yours for the taking. Be on the lookout for the unexpected. Synchronicity is key. This is your moment. So don't be sh shy to show your achievements to the world. Be proud of your success and release any worries about what others may think. You could be their inspiration. This message marks a good omen for all involved. So enjoy every moment knowing you are totally blessed and will continue to be so as you put your all into everything that you do, baby, baby. Listen, like I said, you're about to enjoy the fruits of your labor, pile number twos. Great job, kudos. Okay, let's um, pull some moonology cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos from their higher selves in regards to becoming the greatest version of themselves. Like you're in this process of accumulating a lot of wealth and prosperity because you have uh, really served or you're about to be serving a lot of people pile number two. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. Spirit from their higher selves. Clear, concise, accurate messages from their higher selves. Thank you. One more card. One more card, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages from found the two's higher self. One more card, clear, concise, accurate messages. Ooh, we got two more cards. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Whatever you're doing, it's coming into fruition and it's gaining momentum, okay? Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon, and Pisces. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Don't let your past hold you back. You're not. <laughs> your hard work is paying off, period. These are the first two cards, too. So, you know, you're very balanced, too, pile number two. Last messages, spirit. Last messages from pile number two, spirit, uh, higher self, as to what it is that they want um, pile number two know in regards to becoming the greatest version of themselves thank you thank you god one more card spirit one more card yeah you're releasing worry look honesty uh i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself you're being very honest with yourself okay straightforward and that's what's gotten you here or that's what's leading you here you, you're like i can't there's certain things I won't do. Not that I can't. I can do anything. But there are certain things that I won't do. So we have worry in reverse. I'm learning that worry does not change an outcome. We have relationships. Relationships have been kind of coming in through this reading. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Exactly. And then we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. You have a lot of courage. You're endowed with a lot. You're endowed with a lot of courage pile number two and it takes courage to pursue your dreams and to do so and to fight for them okay and now i'm getting you don't have to fight anymore for your dreams they're they're just naturally they're flowing out from you because this is what you're meant to do this is what you're meant to do so very last messages for our pile number twos thank you so very last message for our pile number twos higher self okay thank you So we have clarity. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angels. Yep. We have forgiveness. Let go. Let the past go. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. Yeah. Just forgive people, pile number twos. That could be like something that is a little difficult for you all to do sometimes but just forgive people look we have determination determination perseverance and patience will leave lead to a positive outcome look and then we have positive outcome card that's so funny because you you're determined you have been doing this we have the positive outcome card okay it says the sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon be you will soon see things in a different light something that previously seemed hopeless will be will soon be filled with nothing but hope exactly you have, uh, you know, cultivated this, this spirit of determination. And because you have, like, this positive outcome, this abundance, this prosperity, 
uh, this season of, of, of blessings is, is headed your way, you know, if it hasn't already, you know, come to you, okay? So I love you all so much, pile number two. You all seem like very dedicated, devoted people to your craft, to, you know, doing what it is that you love, okay? And um, that is commendable, okay? Bravo, round of applause. Um, I love you all so very much. If you got anything from this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends. Give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye-bye. Hey, pile number threes. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful King of Wands card. You all are the strategists of um, action, of taking action, of moving forward, right? And progressing in life and getting things done. You all could be leaders in your community, pillars in your community, or have very heightened leadership qualities and capabilities. Okay. Your affirmation card <coughs> excuse me your affirmation card is card number 14 i am one okay so i'm getting deep integration with this card it says i know that i am a mere drop of water amidst the ocean i know that since i am everyone and everything also is and i connect to the flow of the collective consciousness with effortless ease yeah i feel like you're very integrated into that collective consciousness okay yeah, but you all are leaders of your community, are are becoming pillars of your community, okay? And with this card uh, 14, I'm getting one in four is five. So there's definitely change afoot. There's definitely change ahead, okay? But let's get into your cards. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. And it's so interesting, pile number three, because I actually filmed pile number four as pile number three, and you know caught myself right in the beginning and so i know that you all were meant to look at this pile and pile number four because there were some beautiful happenings in pile number four and i know you will like it so i'm telling you in advance because i ended up filming this and i know you all were meant to people who picked pile number threes were also meant to view pile number four as well like you all should you know, definitely take some time out and listen to that because I have a feeling that is a huge part of like how you're becoming your greatest self, okay? And also, you all have an extra card as well, the star card. So there's a lot of healing, there's a lot of hope, there's a lot of wish fulfillment taking place within you becoming the greatest version of yourself. And that is through healing, that is through manifestation, and that is through like, um, you know this this integration and 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 being your authentic self and authenticity okay uh is what i'm getting here but let's you know go with your spread so we have the four of cups in reverse we have the high priestess we have the tower we have the nine of swords and we have the knight of pentacles in reverse we have the three of pentacles the king of wands in reverse the nine of wands in reverse the sun and then the three of cups so immediately what i'm getting here is with the tower and then the nine of wands um upright is there's been a change in like your resilience and um i feel like you're you're almost there like you're having this awakening moment this is amazing change this is great change okay and it might just be so startling in the beginning because i don't i think you're not gonna know how to deal with it you're not gonna know how to handle it but it's like there is beauty here trust me we have the five pentacles in reverse so i'm getting like there's this abundance this prosperity and um yeah and it's like you're actually like you're on the brink of something very momentous pile number three is the brink of something okay and it's like you're not seeing this you're not seeing this for act for what it is but it's it's beautiful so let's start from this way we have the four cups in reverse and then the three of pentacles so you know don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to accept help is what i'm getting pile number threes okay because you all are such leaders you feel like oh i can do it myself i can do it myself but with this four of cups being in reverse and this um three of uh pentacles being upright i'm getting like teamwork makes the dream work and you know kind of accept the help that the universe is giving you because i feel like the universe is giving you a lot of help okay and also, um, 
this could be in the form of a love offer that maybe you refused before or like you rejected you know maybe someone came and maybe because it was over friendship okay because you know you thought oh well i have my friends to lean on and stuff like that and someone else came in and offering you like this just offering you something maybe it was help or love or something and you didn't want it because you felt like you know maybe you didn't have time for it or whatever but you you kind of like uh didn't allow it to come in and i feel like maybe it's coming back in and you're actually going to accept the help this time so then with the high priestess and and then the king of wands in reverse it's like they're looking it's so funny because okay so this is what i'm getting off that pile number um pile number threes is that you have your eyes on the prize here that's what i'm getting you have your eyes on this sun on on the prize on this sun card this is where you want to end up and you are so focused you are so focused in being resilient and not giving up and someone is like watching you be this high priestess this king of wands is like watching you be this high priestess okay and it's interesting because like they are they're watching you be this high priestess right now okay they're watching you like really fight for what it is that you want right being resilient and they want to like integrate with you they want to be a part of this very badly because they see how successful it could be is what i'm getting okay so if someone's watching this and they're watching you just continue to go 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 right and i feel like they could be like experiencing some type of anxiety about the way you're shining right now like this is not making this person any more comfortable because they feel like they're being left behind because you're out here basking in the glory of the sun or trying to right you you're working towards this and they feel as if like man like i you know i want to be there beside them or i want to do this too is what i'm getting so then we have this knight of pentacles in reverse and then we have the three of cups i'm getting this could have been a friendship because look this knight of pentacles in reverse is facing this is facing this uh nine of swords and it's almost like this knight of pentacles tried to give this nine of swords something they were like here like they were waiting for this nine knight nine of swords right and i'm feeling like this nine of swords is dreaming about this knight of pentacles and was like why didn't i take this offer when i had the chance like that's what i'm getting okay and now this knight of knight of pentacles have put in such hard work they're about to be celebrating okay with their spirit team with their 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 guides or even the new team that they've cultivated because look we have the three of pentacles and the three of cups like this team that's coming in like they're about to be celebrating even like look this four of cups like that is in reverse these three of cups they're about to be toasting or something like someone's about to be celebrating something okay and i'm feeling like another energy was worried about this or is worried about this like someone shine or outshining them okay that's what i'm getting this is supposed to be about like being the best version of yourself but what i'm getting is that you're becoming you're in the process of being the best version of yourself and like you know people are watching you right now pile number threes people are watching you right now okay and maybe you try to even help these people and wanting wanted to incorporate them in this success because you knew it's it's a combined effort like we'll get out of it what we give into it and <clears throat> you know or someone could just be worried about someone's success okay or worried about a leo okay the sun card here but what i'm getting is that it's your time to it's your time to shine it's your time to shine there's no more worry or or anything like that like you are shining and you know this okay okay tell me more spirit tell me more about what pile number three is higher selves want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves like y'all are i have a feeling like you all don't have to be resilient anymore like you all don't have to be resilient anymore because spirit is coming in with 
with the help that you need is what you're getting, okay? You don't have to do everything alone. Like, like maybe uh, two people are being brought into a tower moment to come help you out. I don't know. Like, this is so interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. What does pile number three's higher selves want them to know about um, being embodying the best version of themselves? What does pile number three's higher selves want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves? Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. Sacral chakra, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Look, we have financial and material change in reverse. Five of pentacles again. Look, y'all are okay. Okay. Look, deception and envy. Yes, yeah, someone's peeping. They do not want to see you shine. I don't know who this is, pile number threes. Someone is peeping game. They are like, what is this person doing? They are watching you. They are giving you the stink eye, okay? They are watching you succeed. Look, dude, this came out in another reading. They are watching like all your dreams come into being material harvest come on you can't make this up okay rest and rejuvenate okay they're losing sleep they're losing sleep watching you succeed watching you work hard to get what it is you want this is basically the nine of pentacles the highest form of material abundance and prosperity in this deck dang look we have the sacral chakra okay this could be an x or something like that because the sacral chakra, no, they're just watching you be very passionate about something is also what I'm getting. Be very passionate, be gorgeous and stuff. That's why I was saying, go check out, um, go also check out uh, pile number uh, fours, pile number threes, because it's like an elongation of this, okay? They're watching you. They're literally watching you in the midst of becoming the best version of themselves, of, of yourselves, okay and like there's been a lot of prayer that has been going into this okay you didn't just get this windfall of abundance out of nowhere you've worked hard for it. you've prayed for it you've meditated on it you've s sought reprieve and everything and now it's coming into fruition period you've earned this this is not something that's just been handed to you you've earned it okay and I feel like you've turned your back on this person, pile number three. You've turned your back on this person. You're focused on the grander things in life, the greater things in life. And this po person is focused on you and focused on what they lack, okay? Damn. Okay, tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. <clears throat> Clear divine guidance, wisdom, and insight for our pile number three, spirit. Clear divine guidance, wisdom, and insight for our pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Share your voice because you're sharing your voice and they're upset. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. Yeah, it's like you're being persecuted for sharing, for expressing yourself. So you're embodying your highest form of self-expression, you know, and that's okay. Sometimes that's going to happen. But guess what? You're also going to help people know that they can do this too, okay? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages, Spirit, for our pile number threes in regards to what their higher selves want them to know about being the best version of themselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Break the chain, period. You're breaking ancestral patterns. You're healing yourself. You're rewriting the future. Every step that you're taking, you're doing that ish, okay? mirror <laughs> who or what is triggering you this person is triggered okay this person is triggered friend okay i'm getting triggered when i hear your name trigger when i see your face you better stay out of my way by janae eiko or whatever like um but I, that's your channel song is triggered somebody triggered okay so transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing okay you have healed you are growing you are transforming in front of their eyes and they're like what the f is going on they don't know what to do they shook shook ones the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hit soul tribe yeah you're calling in your soul tribe you're calling in the people who are going to help uh, create this heaven on earth it's happening Lumeria exactly you're creating this and you are 
coming into being with this soul tribe and 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 you are creating a, a community you're creating a community okay a, around yourself with like-minded people pile number threes you are transforming before someone's eyes and they don't know what to do thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number threes from their higher selves what does their higher selves want them to know about uh embodying the greatest versions of themselves and i have a feeling keep shining keep shining who gives a shit what other people think about you keep shining whoa that blew out. <laughs> this is your destiny astrology destiny just flew across the freaking room this is your destiny and you know this you've been knowing this at first it wasn't made clear to you on how it was all going to come together but like now you're doing it Okay, you're implementing it and it's all, everything's coming together. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you for the clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number. Okay, that's way too many cards. I'm going to take these three cards back and I'll keep those three. Yeah, palmistry interpretation. It's like your success is being talked about right now, pile number threes. We have feathers, messages, okay? Your success is like up for interpretation for people. <laughs> the book of destiny, you have book knowledge, okay? Because you're closed off. You're kind of like doing this by yourself is what I'm getting. Like your, your spiritual team is coming. I mean, your spiritual team is here. You're not doing it by yourself because you have your spiritual team. But you're doing this for the most part like through your spiritual team, but with just with you. And we have phrenology certainty. You know something is certain. You know you're being guided, okay? You see this person, and someone is watching you make this all happen, okay? That's crazy. I want to read phrenology certainty. It's like you know. That's what this star card is about. You know your destiny. You know what's about to happen. You know everything that you've ever wanted or needed or could ever ask for is about to come to you, okay? You know that. There is no debating it because you're making it happen. They say um, create your own luck. Or you you want to know how you're going to like have this luck you created, right? That's why you're certain because you know. You know because you're doing it. You're taking the steps to... Um, facilitate your life and what you what you want and you're using your knowledge which knowledge when you in use you put it that's wisdom and that creates certainty right okay so phrenology certainty if your days are filled with aimless activity and your head is filled with pointless internal chatter and inconsistent plans stop a while and turn down the volume when you give into rest and silence you are more likely to hear the information your guides are trying to give you as you try to ask a certain what you should or should not do use your own head rather than accepting the first piece of advice you're given Think logically as it's time to rely on good old fashioned common sense. Stability in your life is required. So make concrete plans, <clears throat> seek expert advice and research carefully what you need to know to be certain about your next move. If you do so, the outcome will be successful without a doubt. Exactly. You are not doubting this because you've done the research. You've done the due diligence. You aren't just going off based off hearsay and stuff like that. Like you are doing all of this. It says practice meditation and quiet your mind. Rest and rejuvenate. Again, that's coming up. Like it's time for you all to slow down, take a break. And you're being made to because your angels, ancestors, and guides are coming in and they're telling you this, okay? Prayer will help you to know. Retreat. Monitor your thoughts carefully. Listen to your guides. Don't dive straight into a situation. Make sure you are certain of all the facts. Certainty will prevail. Exactly. So you know you know what you know what you know basically okay you're being you're adhering the cause you're listening to your guides you're listening to your ancestors and everything is coming into fruition for you pile number threes definitely go check out pile number fours you won't regret it i mean uh yeah pile number fours <laughs> thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number threes what do their angels ancestors and guides what do their higher selves want them to know about becoming the best version of yourself it's like your crown chakra is about to be bust open as soon as you take a rest. As soon as you just let down your guard and stuff. Your dreams need a practical plan. You're creating that practical plan. 
uh, nothing is yet set in stone, okay? And you're, I feel like things are, things are up for interpretation now because you're building, okay? <coughs> Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number three spirit. Look at the bigger picture. You're looking at the bigger picture. You're building it step by step. Okay, it's time to release negativity in the reverse full moon and Sag full moon in Scorpio. You've released negativity or you're releasing it as we speak. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What does their higher selves want them to know um, in regards to embodying the greatest version of themselves, Spirit? With this pile number three higher selves want them to know in regards to embodying the best version of themselves spirit clear, concise accurate messages thank you yeah okay we have friendship okay at the bottom of the deck i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason okay utilize your friendships utilize your collect connections okay that you have with people, okay? Because they can really help you out at this time. We have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, okay? We have humor came out. This is cool. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Exactly. Use humor, laugh, watch a funny movie on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, Amazon, okay? Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Exactly. Someone also could be making fun of you. No, let's release that. That's not true. I was about to say, because fear is coming out, humor and pride. And I was going to say, someone also could be like mocking you or something or making fun of you behind your back. And I feel like it's these people you left behind. It's these people you left behind. But that was just something that came from me. But, you know, if it resonates, it does. And if not, it, it leave it. Okay, but, you know, I was just getting that. But I have a feeling also that you could, you're very funny. You're very funny. Are the people around you in your lives, people who are coming in is very funny, okay? And they make you laugh and it, that gives you, that lightens your load a little bit. So whoever's coming in, the people who are coming in, they're very funny and they make you laugh and that lightens your load. That that makes you have a, a, a healthy heart is what I'm getting, pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes for their higher selves. What does their higher selves want them to know? Clear, concise, accurate messages from their higher selves. Thank you. Again, mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs right now. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all that it takes. Okay. So be mindful of the people around you. Send them love, light, and um overall good vibes and energy okay archangel Raphael, feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light i archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright trust exactly okay surrender there is no point in pushing the barrel up such a steep hill go back to the start surrender your expectations there is an easier way when the time is right a new path will appear okay so i'm um, surrender to your good is what i'm getting surrender to your good faith do not lose faith that nine of wands perseverance the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more look we have two messages about how the storm clouds is going to clear okay so your archangels your ancestors and guides are saying look you're you're about to be on the precipice of greatness of something okay and something's coming into your life and it's about to shake your world but in the best ways possible pile number three so like i was saying amazing reading you guys are very anointed and and and, and uh, divinely guided and gifted with insight into you know what it is that you want in life and you're going after it full speed ahead okay so i love you all so much again thank you for joining me in this reading if you liked it or if it resonated with you give me a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anybody who will best benefit from the messages provided here today i love you all so very much pile number threes and you guys take care i'll see you in the next reading bye pile number fours welcome back to your reading so funny thing happened was i kind of like did you all third so like instead of you being pile number four i really did you 
out of order as pile number three. Ivan said, what does pile number three's higher self want them to know? So you all could be attracted to pile number three as well, but this was the fourth pile and I did it in that, in the third order, okay? So, you know, um, I'm gonna try to see how I'm going to configure this or like if I can like, you know, correct myself through editing, but um, yeah, so this is going to be, this is pile number four technically, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this reading. So anyways, welcome back pile number four is welcome to your reading. So um, you all, so higher self is coming out of this lack mentality like you all are leaving this behind this five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse like you're leaving lack um kind of like this poverty mindset behind in the in the dust and you know you're getting the things that you want to get out of life pile number fours okay so um you all chose this beautiful king of pentacles card so i'm getting you are destined to like triumph in the material realm like you all are destined to be like i don't know if it's business owners or just like business savvy but you all are uh really destined to have um everything you want in life on this uh earth on this uh, material plane of existence okay and your hard workers is what I'm getting so let's list out the cards for you we have the three of cups in reverse we have the empress we have the ace of cups in reverse we have the king of wands in reverse and we have temperance and then we have um, queen of wands in reverse eight of pentacles seven of pentacles ten of wands and then the strength card in reverse so off that I noticed that like um this temperance and this strength card is like mirroring each other right they're even wearing white and you know they kind of have like a halo around their heads this one is an infinity halo and this one is just like beams of light okay and i'm getting like you have um cultivated this like you're an alchemist in your life so like you get whatever you want but you have cultivated this balance right within yourself okay and you really lean on your own self-determination and you have you're very resilient but you you get that from the inside like your higher self ushers this resilient this resilient nature within you pile number fours <laughs> yeah so you all get that ushered into your life okay also what i'm getting is like you're very graceful in your actions and in your words and and how you like manifest things and cultivate things in your life so the second row that's really standing out for me is the empress and the eight of pentacles i feel like you really you're a hard worker but you balance with working and receiving right and also like with this empress and the eight of pentacles is like you're about to come into like abundance from this hard work that you have been putting in um pile number fours okay so like you're about to come into a state of abundance right now because you've been putting in the work and and spirit source energy your higher self has noticed this and they're about to congratulate you with all this abundance and prosperity as you can see she's surrounded by wheat and that means like the harvest you know abundance is here so you're about to be very abundant uh and living lavishly too um not just you know not just having money and not knowing what to do with it but like surrounding yourselves with beauty art um you know things that are rich or like richness you know i'm getting you're about to doll yourself up more if you're a, a female you're about to like you know make yourself look the best that you possibly can you know if you're a male you're about to like make yourself look the best that you possibly can you know what i'm saying but you're you're gonna know what to do with this abundance once it comes okay and also what i've noticed too we have the king of wands and the queen of wands in reverse okay so i'll get back to that 
but here's what I'm getting to is like we have the three of cups in reverse and then the uh, queen of wands in reverse it's like you what I got off that is you don't have to work as hard as you think you do because the queen of wands she does it all right and she looks good doing it right this is this is you this is your energy but like I feel like you have not been celebrating your wins you've just been like here perched on your on your um what's it called on your throne and you haven't been celebrating your win you're like looking at these girls like what are, what are they doing what are they doing over there having fun you know even though you're a fun person yourself you're lively it feels like maybe you've been kind of lonely or kind of isolated you know what i'm saying you've been like a little lonely or isolated because you've been so involved with your work, but I have a feeling that's gonna come to an end. Like you know how to have a good time, pile number four is, is what I'm getting. You know how to have a good time. You want to have a good time. You want to cultivate something and um, you're about to, okay? You're about to. I mean, you're doing that, right? So with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, like, you've brought something into fruition like you've you're about to amass an ab ab abundance with the seven of pentacles in reverse and i feel like you just want people to share it with because you've been really working and cultivating self-love to the point where it's like okay now i need to move on and and do something else you know what i'm saying like i've built myself up by myself with myself with my with my spiritual team with my um higher self i've built myself up to you know as much as it could go now it's time for me to give now it's time for me to share this with other people okay and this could be a counterpart right because we have the queen of wands and we have the king of wands i'm really feeling though as if this is like integration here but you know we'll get back to that so we have the king of wands in reverse with the ten of wands okay right it's like something has been arduous for you something has been um an uphill battle in regards to your leadership right and it's funny because i'm thinking with the king of wands here they're facing this temperance card like looking at them like they want to go join this temperance card and it's like i get it like this king of wands energy feels as if they have been led called and forced like not for like yeah forced but like willingly forced like okay they're like yeah i'm doing i'm gonna do it i'm down for you know being this leader but it's like okay it's a lot of work and i want to like i want moderation with something you know because the temperance card so i'm getting this story like this like you know this way like <laughs> i don't know why but i am but um so with the temperance card and this king of wands in reverse looking at this temperance card the temperance card to me is like the pure embodiment of sagittarius like sagittarius has this very great balance when it comes to their lives of like having fun but knowing how to also get their work done right and I feel like this King of Wands has been kind of out of whack lately because all they've been doing is working, working, working. And it's to the point where they feel so much urge to go into this uh, temperance state to where they kind of want to relax. They want to like indulge in earthly matters, you know, and things like that. Because I feel like maybe they've been working so hard on themselves and their you know their livelihood and um you know their everyday due diligence is they want to feel pleasure you know in moderation right a balanced pleasure right because they've been really working hard at something okay and they're almost there they're, they've almost achieved they pretty much achieved or is achieving what they want but they i think the next step the next step for them is to like relax kind of like integrate um work and play in some in in a very balanced state right and then with the strength card yeah they've just been using their inner inner faculty to keep going and you know maybe too much of their own strength and maybe they're going to give some of this burden or some of the load to source so source can kind of take over for a bit and then they can still you know have that good equilibrium when it comes to working and playing okay because i feel like that's needed in life because if you don't have that you'll lose touch with your inner child and you know that's people don't you shouldn't lose touch with your inner 
inner child is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, tell me more spirit about pile number three. Concise, accurate messages. Excuse me, pile number four as well. Uh, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. Tell, us, tell me more, spirit. Tell me more for our pile number fours. What's coming in for our pile number four, spirit? Yeah, recognition and reward. And look, we have three, three, three. So that's crazy. It's like y'all. Maybe you guys just needed this message for uh, pile number four, but we have three, three, three. You all could be seeing three, three, three a lot lately. But yeah, recognition and reward. You're about to like be rewarded for something and you're about to get recognized for all the hard work and dedication that you've put into something pile number fours, okay? You are definitely about to get recognized. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to their higher selves. It's like take a bow. Standing ovation. That's so funny. Um, I'm getting that Rihanna song. It's old. It's like take a bow. Oh, uh, you put on quite a show. It's a breakup song, but I'm just getting like, you know, your performance was great. <laughs> okay, you've done the work. You're great. You you really you really did that, you know? Like tell us more, uh Paul, I mean, tell us more. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more about what pile number four needs to know from their spirit guide in regards to uh, becoming the best version of themselves. You guys may re be receiving public recognition or stardom. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. One more card for pile number four. Thank you. The waiting game. I feel like the wait is over. Y'all are no longer waiting. Y'all are about to live your lives and have fun and in a jubilant time, pile number fours, okay? We have passion ignited, and then we have, uh, sorry, so we have recognition and reward. We have card number six, harmony, which is the lover's card. We have passion ignited. This came out in reverse, but I'm still gonna take it. And then um, we have sacrifice, card number 12. You all could be seeing rainbows a lot too. Um, okay, so basically what this is saying is that like, you're being rewarded uh, through something. You're being rewarded for something, and I'm getting it's all your hard work and dedication that you've been putting into something, pile number four, okay? Uh, with this six, with this harmony card here, number six, this is like the lover's card in this deck. I feel like you could be meeting a soulmate that ignites your passion, or um, that, like, because look, their heart, their like heart chakra is like beaming right now when they found this other person and then look they have like this green in their heart yeah you definitely could be f finding like a person who ignites your passion okay where you haven't felt this in a very long time or in a while pile number four is okay but also what i'm getting for those who aren't uh seeking a relationship or aren't seeking like you know that you know whose message doesn't kind of align to that is that you have followed your heart and your guidance and have really integrated yourself to the point of, um, you know, finding your passion and your purpose. Okay. And that's why you're being acknowledged. You're being, you know, given these medals of honors and uh, things of that nature for doing this. Okay. You have uh, went through a lot of sacrifice while you were in dark, murky water. You still found the light at the end of the tunnel. And like you allowed that to permeate through you and you still were optimistic and yeah, you just found the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Like I was saying, you guys could also be beautifying yourself because this depiction of this person, she's very like pretty. So you guys could be beautifying yourself. You guys could be like going to the spa. Uh, going shopping okay things of that nature be it, and it can make you feel very happy also i'm getting hawaii okay you guys could be taking a trip to hawaii maybe in the springtime or something like that i'm getting that i don't know but you guys could be traveling um let's see what else thank you god thank you spirit what else about pile number fours do they need to know what else do our, do our pile number fours need to know about um What's coming in for them, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to what's coming in for them. Okay, yeah. Deep replenishment, 
uh, retreat rest be held. Yeah, so you all are like about to go on vacation or take a break. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, something, it's like something's gonna urge you to like take a break. And I think this is great and you're going to do that. Breaking, break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Yeah, you all are le being led to like, you know, oh, I see the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So the tower, so hold on, let me organize these. So it's interesting. Don't burn yourselves out, pile number four is what I'm getting. You guys are working very hard to achieve this like abundance and prosperity, but don't burn yourself out because with the crumbling, what are you clinging on to? The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Like this is being cracked open and you have cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you because you need to rest. You need to take some time out for yourself and to rest. And I, I don't know if you could tell there's sand here and sand always indicates time. Like it's time to kind of like retreat rest be held you know it's time to rest and I, I got that in another pile i think your pile was meant to also go find another pile pile number four particularly maybe pile number three when i recorded but you all were meant to go find another pile too as well okay so breaking the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future yeah you're doing this and it's like all by yourself you're doing this well with your spiritual team of course so you're never by yourself but you're you're doing this for the most part a one-man show okay and then at the bottom of the deck we have soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone period you don't have to do it alone. Yeah, you're calling in someone. This could be a divine counterpart. And it's interesting because you guys are looking the opposite way. You guys are looking the opposite way from each other. But it's like you're calling each other in at the same time. It's weird. So I'm getting like your highest self is going to have a divine counterpart. And this person is really going to put you on a pedestal. Like this person is going to help with um, all this I'm getting the business and the labor portion of it. You know, your higher self is calling someone else in at this time. And this could be like a masculine or a feminine to help uh, you produce at a high level because that's where you're headed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to what their... Um, in regards to what their higher selves want them to know. Okay, I'm going to just take these. Bottom of the deck, crystals, healing. Yeah, you guys are healers. Are you guys like do something uh, in metaphysics or the healing realm or the spiritual realm? Because look, we have clouds mystical. You guys are definitely mystics. You have Shagai fragmented. We have dice gamble and we have footprints direction. Someone is being led to you. Look, and we have feet on these and feet on... We have feet in this card and then we have footprints on this card someone's being led to you someone who needs what you can give them right now is what i'm getting someone who needs what you could give them right now okay and with these clouds mystical it's like something is happening in the ethers and i don't think you're even seeing what's going on y'all are not seeing what's going on because literally let's see goodness literally with this king of wands y'all are literally looking in opposite directions opposite directions these are both in reverse now if these were upright you'd be looking at each other right or well sh shit the king of wands looking at her but the king queen of wands looking so but they're looking towards one another right these are in reverse you all are looking in opposite directions you know what i'm saying that's so interesting to me so it's like but you're still calling this person in it's so funny you're not gonna see this coming you're not gonna see this person coming they're just gonna be like wham like here you know just here one day like here i am like hey what's up <laughs> you know i have a feeling maybe you guys might go travel together you guys are gonna like have a good time together because this king of wands is looking for like peace 
this queen of wands is looking to continue to do their work or to like spruce themselves up or to feel wanted or to feel like you know i don't know but yeah you're this could be a gamble that you're taking with this person too but this person is being led to you pile number fours tell me more spirit okay so tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our in regards to what's coming in for them what is their higher self telling them to be the best version of themselves so ultimately what i'm getting is what's coming in is embodying the best version of yourself is like sharing your cup of love with someone that's really what's coming in embodying the best version of yourself is you sharing your your love your 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 cup with someone okay tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages okay i don't know why i'm not just getting where i should take these because they keep coming out prematurely tell me more spirit tell me more clear concise accurate messages for our problem number four in regards to what their higher selves want them to know about the, becoming the greatest version of themselves spirit clear concise accurate messages what is their higher selves want them to know thank you about becoming the best version of themselves clear concise accurate messages one more card what is their higher selves want them to know about becoming the best version of themselves thank you yeah have faith in your dreams okay i have a feeling someone else has faith in your dreams too and they're gonna come in and help you pod number four this could be like a divine counterpart look be bold and make the first move someone's coming in someone's coming into you bring love in. so this is be bold and make the first move cardinal moon this could be a cardinal sign i don't know what the cardinal signs are but you know you guys can look them up a fiery climax approaches okay full moon in aries and then we have uh, bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius that's ultimately what's gonna make you the best version of yourself also pile number fours is bringing love into every situation you know and sharing love with that ace of cups in reverse and that seven of pentacles it's like sharing your love like you've cultivated so much self-love now it's time for you to share it with the world share it with others is what i'm getting thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to what their higher selves want them to know about embodying the best version of themselves what's coming in for our pile number four is in regards to embodying the best version of themselves spirit clear concise accurate messages thank you clear concise accurate messages okay look peace peace keeps coming up someone's looking for peace and tranquility and they have a feeling that you're going to give it to them you're going to offer them something you're going to ease their mind self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others this is you this is this other person this is you trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly yeah so just continue to have trust in yourself and like this person is being guided towards you and look we have patience in reverse i accept that everything happens in divine order like this is the divine order that's what i'm getting with this patience card in reverse like you're not gonna have to wait much longer this person is like on the way and it's interesting because look what we have at the bottom of the deck it's like this five of pentacles in reverse in reverse but like i'm getting this person is finally willing to seek help and they want it from you because they're coming towards this way you know they want it from you okay last message of spirit uh for pile number fours from their spirit their higher selves last messages from their higher selves spirit clear concise accurate messages okay look surrender okay also we had the sacrifice card the hang which is the hangman it's also time to surrender you're someone surrendering something there's no point in pushing the barrel up such a steep hill go back to the start surrender your expectations there is an easier way when the time is right a new path will appear this is this person this person is coming in to help you harmony yeah we got harmony twice disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow everything has its cycle Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. You're bringing in harmony or you're going to you're going to be in harmony with someone. Okay, change. 
life is a journey it will be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last be careful because life is always changing it's forever fresh and new <clears throat> allow your life to unfold gracefully be grateful for what was is and forever will be yeah so there's something that's changing in your life right now mindfulness be mindful of another's feelings and needs someone needs your love right now a loving thought is all that it takes exactly <clears throat> someone needs your light love right now your light your peace and they're coming in for you pile number four is period <clears throat> this could be a soulmate or a divine union but um they're coming in for you right now because they they kind of they need you right now they need your 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 energy okay so beautiful reading pile number fours you all are very like beautiful people oh i never read your um oh my goodness i never read your um affirmation i am gorgeous i recognize the beauty in and around me at all times i see that the beauty in others is only a mirror reflecting that beauty within myself and the gorgeousness i am allowed to create in the world this is you offer you offer people society your community beauty in whatever it is that you do because you embody it and you continue to give others that beauty that harmony that they want and need <clears throat> to see <clears throat> excuse me to see the world in in a better light okay <clears throat> so with that being said i love you so much pile number four is amazing 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 reading if you loved the if you like this um reading give it a big thumbs up um share this with loved ones fr friends family or anyone who best benefit from the messages provided here today again i love you all so very much and until next time i'll see you in the next reading Bye bye